Slice Glade and Minecraft again, back with another video. And today we're here for my third redstone showcase. It was pretty cool. And yeah, today we're going to be looking at something a bit different. The first thing I've ever uploaded to this channel that's pistonless. And yeah, it's really hard to understand, kind of. And yeah, we're just going to try and get into it. So basically what it is, is it's a very simple... Oh, come on. It's a very simple artificial intelligence. And yeah, it, it's pretty awesome. So if you look here, we have one redstone lamp, two levers, and two buttons. I have the best sense of humor, in any case. So we can flick these levers around. Nothing happens to our lamp. That's stupid. Let's see what happens if we press the button. Well, now it's turned off but either of these levers will activate it. But if we go back to none, then it will turn off again. Let's try if just if turn on B and press the button again. And if you hadn't noticed, the button says, you're wrong, deal with it. So basically, now if we go back here, doesn't do anything. If we have just this on, then we'll do something. And if we have both on, then we'll do something. But say we wanted it to not do something if they were both on. Well, then we could hit you're wrong, deal with it when they're both on. And now, it will only activate if exactly A is on and B isn't on. So basically, it's an artificial intelligence. Now, maybe we feel really sorry. We shouldn't have gotten that. We shouldn't have said all those mean things. So, we hit the reset button. And now, all the combinations are right again. Now, if that was a bit cryptic, Basically, if you tell it it's wrong, it will remember it's wrong until you press the reset button. Now, you might think this is a pretty simple device to make. It's just a bit of memory and whatnot. Wow! <laughs> it was actually pretty insane to get this compact, but I think I did a pretty good job of it. Let's take a look. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. This is really cool. <laughs> I love how this thing looks on the back. It's got all kinds of crazy wiring maneuvers and just so much going on here. I'm not even going to attempt to explain it, because that's why it's a redstone showcase. And yeah, it's just ridiculous amounts of redstone everywhere. Now, one second, I'm going to check the dimensions, because it's actually pretty compact. So yeah, this thing is 10 by 10 by 11, which is pretty tiny, considering how much redstone there is. Because there, there's so little air in this build, the only real air pocket is here. And yeah, if you want to play around with it yourself, try and figure out how it works. I've kind of forgotten how it works myself in all this mess. But yeah, if you want to try and figure out how it works, there will be a uh, download in the description for the schematic. And yeah, just this thing is ridiculous and I just knew I had to upload it. And a lot of you technical people here, just one more thing real quick would call this a learning logic gate, because technically you can turn this into any logic gate. Like, say if you wanted it to be an AND gate, then you could hit this. Hit it again, like that. And hit it again like that. And now we have an AND gate. So we only turn on if both of them are on. So yeah, you can basically have these levers do whatever you want. It's basically like a programmable memory thing. It's pretty cool. I kind of like how it turned out myself. I think it was awesome that I managed to make it this compact. Indeed. And yeah, that's about all I have for today, peeps. Yeah, I'm just going to keep ranting if the video goes on. So yeah, I'm just going to end it here. Bye now.